Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're going to be talking about a new low power mode in iOS 9. Generally speaking, iPhone battery life is pretty good, at least for me. I'll make it throughout a day and on one single charge, but there's always those situations where my iPhone, no matter what I try to do, just dies early. And it's a super big inconvenience because I might not be near a power source or not be able to charge it for a few hours, and then I'm without a phone. So that's where this new low power mode in iOS 9 comes into play. I'm going to show you how to enable it right now. Open up the settings app and scroll down just a bit until you see the new battery preference panel. We just want to tap on that and right here at the very top, as long as we're using an iPhone, we should see a new toggle for low power mode. And you can read its description down below. It says low power mode temporarily reduces power consumption until you can fully charge your iPhone. When this is on, mail fetch, background app refresh, automatic downloads, and some visual effects are reduced or turned off. Now you also might have noticed that when I toggled low power mode to on, it automatically enabled my battery percentage just so I know where I'm at. I think the status bar looks cleaner without the number of my battery percent in the status bar, but low power mode enables that by default just so you know the exact percentage of how much battery you've got left on your device. So low power mode is pretty cool and from my experience, I couldn't give you an exact number of how long it could extend my battery life for. I think Apple claims that it might be able to give you up to an extra hour on your iPhone, which would be absolutely awesome. But I want to hear your thoughts. After you've turned this out on for a while, or maybe you have been using it already, what is your experience? Definitely feel free to let me know by leaving a comment down below in the comment section. If you're interested in watching more videos on some of the new features in iOS 9, Check out the links of videos down below in the description because I've already made tons of content on iOS 9, so if you haven't subscribed already, now would be a great time to do so, so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you enjoyed watching this video, I would really love it if you hit that like button down below. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS, I hope you guys had a great day, and I will talk to you in my next video.